on necessary returns to Treasury at the end of the financial year. I call Jim Allister. There was £246 million of resource funding available to spend, and despite all the needs that as MLAs we meet day and daily in our constituencies, all the Northern Ireland departments could come up with was plans to spend £146 million pounds of it, leaving £100 million unspent. Does that not speak to severe financial mismanagement across the executive? And given that there was also 200 million further Barnet consequential, are we not now in the territory where the minister's constant refrain of Tory, Tory austerity is bearing very thin indeed? Well, of course. Uh in fact, Tory austerity is a fact, and it has impacted on our public services and continues to impact on our public services. And the reason we're having such a debate about the next uh, three-year budget is because, in order to prioritise health, uh, we, we have to then squeeze other departments to do that. And the reason we have to do that is because the outcome from the spent review is not what we would have wanted. There, of course, it is disappointing when departments surrender money later uh, in the year than, than they perhaps should have. But also we had uh, £100 million in relation to COVID uh, and the, the outbreak of the Omicron variant, which came very late in the years, he will understand. Some of that money we had no certainty around whether we could spend it or not spend it, and we only got that certainty around whether we could spend it very close to the January monitoring round. So there were extraneous factors in there, uh, as well as late returns from departments. But I would welcome, as I have said repeatedly here, if, if there are other uh, policy areas that ministers have responsibility for, where they have identified a need to support people or businesses or other uh, issues, then I would very much welcome bids for uh, additional funding, and I am very happy to re recommend those to the Executive. Mary Jerry Carroll, Home Cash to Carry. Speaker, Minister, the cost of living is through the roof. Officially, if inflation is at 5 per cent, but the cost of living far exceeds this. 29 per cent increase in bread, apples up by 51 per cent, pasta up by 141 per cent. Families and individuals are struggling to get by as it is. Given that there's nothing